The Global Nuclear Safety and Security Network, GNSSN, provides like-minded people with the ability to connect, communicate and collaborate worldwide. Every day, member states are confronted with the need for relevant information and quick access to nuclear expertise that they can rely on. In that context, networks are a key instrument to gather professionals around a common subject of interest and allow them to share their experience and to cooperate. To assist our member states in finding competent expertise, the IAEA has been developing the Global Nuclear Safety and Security Network. This GNSSN is a key instrument to help interconnect professionals to share information and knowledge. The GNSSN international reach gives member states worldwide access to experts from other regions and other countries, allowing them to obtain and share their knowledge and expertise in specific fields. One important aspect of global networks is the exchange of knowledge, information and expertise and is a primary mechanism for building capacity and developing professional alliances, which are key to strengthening the global nuclear safety and security framework. GNSSN provides quick, focused access to a growing number of communities of practice. For example, the Emergency Preparedness and Response Network and the Technical and Scientific Organization Forum. The Emergency Preparedness and Response Network, or EPR network, within the Global Nuclear Safety and Security Network is a forum for practitioners in the field of nuclear and radiological emergency preparedness and response to, uh, to share and exchange information. We wanted to reach out to the emergency preparedness and response professionals on the front line, those who ultimately have to uh, to implement the international and the national standards. We wanted to provide those professionals at all levels with a forum through which we can uh, exchange information and obtain feedback on the real-life challenges that they face. The TSO Forum, also called TSOF, provides a unique opportunity for all the technical experts in the world to cooperate. The members of the forum share lessons learned and practical information in particular with regard to the implementation of safety standards and security publications. The forum further promotes coordination and collaboration among the member states and it helps to build technical and scientific capacity, in particular for those countries which are embarking or expanding on a nuclear power program. Member states from the same region tend to face similar challenges and can work together to plan, prioritise and implement activities, confident that their colleagues and neighbours are working in the same vein, towards the same goals. Expertise can also be harnessed more effectively and interlinked to more efficiently transfer information, good practices and lessons learned. The GNSSN helps to unleash these region's strengths fostering real improvements in nuclear safety and security for member states within the region. Currently, GNSSN provides access to six regional networks. ANUR is uh, basically the Arab network of nuclear regulators. It uh, gathers 22 member states, uh, 22 member states that belong to the League of Arab States and that are using this network to strengthen their nuclear uh, safety and security programs. Most Arab countries are embarking countries on nuclear power. So um, as an embarking country, Jordan, as part of the ANUR and now part of the JNSSN, um, um, it is exposed to uh, other experience and multi-regional um, uh, activities that would benefit um, us as an embarking country. The benefit of participating in the GNSSN uh, is basically to learn from the experience of mature uh, regulators. NSN is a nuclear safety network in the ASEAN region, which was launched in 2002 as a forum for pooling and sharing nuclear safety information, knowledge and experiences among member countries. NSN provides many opportunities 
to build the capacity and to enhance the member state uh, regulatory infrastructure. In the period of the Fukushima Daiichi accident, uh, I would say it's after the accident, the ANSN is beneficial to uh, disseminate the information uh, to every kind of information we provided. FNIB was established on March 26, 2009, and it's helped organizing and uh, strengthening uh, the nuclear regulatory body for safety and security in Africa. Member states in Africa face the same challenges and problems, uh, namely legal and regulatory frameworks, uh, qualified staff to implement regulatory activities, funding of regulatory activities, etc. FORO is an association created in 1997 and its name is uh, the Bear American Forum of Radiological and Nuclear Safety Regulators. It's an association that aims to improve nuclear safety and radiation safety in the Bear American region and also to strengthen uh, as much as possible the regulatory functions in the region. In general, for the member states, FORO has produced some documents and innovative um, tech, uh, methodologies in the area of uh, protection of patients. One of the examples is the SEVRA tool, that is a risk analysis tool that has been developed within FORO and now promoted to the uh, Ibero-American region, to so all the countries, and to the rest of the world. The second example would be doc technical documents like for licensing and inspection of synchrotrons who are now being used as basis or contributing to one of the safety standards that the agency is developing. FORO, as all the other regional networks, are, is administrated by the agency and uh, aim to collaborate and share information with the other network through the GNSSN or directly with the, 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 net, the regional networks. Because FORO is an association of uh, regulatory bodies, it aims to share information with other regulatory bodies, what fits well in the program of the other networks. Networks are also beneficial to countries with a lot of experience in the nuclear field. Keeping up with new information, lessons learned or best practices is vital for continuous improvement of nuclear safety. As you know, Canada, I think it's, it's very clear, not only for Canada, but all countries with mature uh, nuclear program, that an accident anywhere is an accident everywhere, and that will affect us all, you know. And the best way is to share this expertise that we have with other countries, particularly the country embarking in, 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 in this journey of nuclear program, and uh, exchange this information and try to help the others to have an internationally acceptable uh, safety and security framework in the country. Uh, that means also for Canada, we learn from the experience of the others. We are sharing our expertise, but also we are learning from the others. The GNSSN also provides services for networking and knowledge management at national levels. Member states are invited to develop their own national portal that enables them to provide information on their national nuclear safety infrastructure and regulations to all GNSSN members. The GNSSN IT platform provides countries with a dedicated member state area in which national nuclear regulatory portals, or NNRPs, are hosted. NNRPs are interfaces to national knowledge resources. They are web-based portals developed on a voluntary basis by member states for sharing their national nuclear safety and security information, including a regulatory profile and national safety regulations. Here I would like to take a moment to thank those countries who have contributed with their human and financial resources to assist GNSSN grow into the worldwide gateway to nuclear safety and security knowledge and expertise 
and to leave you with this reminder. These networks are driven by member states. And it is essential that stakeholders take ownership and leadership in the further development of the GNSSN. With that in mind, I encourage you to continue connecting, collaborating and communicating through the GNSSN.